Captain's log, Stardate 6947.8. The Enterprise is approaching the space station at Sigma Draconis 7. Flint the Immortal is giving a concert, after which we will hold a briefing about his assisting my crew with a study of that facility. remarkable, Mr. Flint. Yes. Thank you for agreeing to give a concert for my crew. They don't often have the opportunity of live performances this far from Starbase. It was my pleasure. If you're ready, I'd like to go over a few details with you before our pre-mission briefing. Of course. After you, Captain. really needs to address the situation of the Romulan harassment of merchants along their border. Yes. Perhaps they should send some ships to attack the Romulans at their base on Raytor 3 before there are any more incidents. But we can't. That would be an escalation. Starfleet can't consider preemptively striking the Romulans. It's against Federation law. Really? But Captain Kirk himself said that we should strike first. What? He did, but it's against Starfleet and Federation policy, which states that no starship I distinctly can... remember a month ago, when we were at Starbase 7, he said, we have to preemptively strike the enemy when we can. He did? Captain Kirk said that? Yep. That's a direct quote. Well then, that's different. I guess we should attack. Excuse me, officers. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Mr. Spark? The argument you are employing, Mr. Markell, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of quoting out of context. His argument was kind of convincing. That may be so, Lieutenant Bryce, but his argument is invalid. Quoting out of context, sometimes referred to as contextomy or quote mining, is an informal fallacy in which a passage is removed from its surrounding matter in such a way as to distort its intended meaning. Mr. Markell, you employed this fallacy when you suggested that Captain Kirk would approve of preemptively striking the Romulans because he once stated, we have to preemptively strike the enemy when we can. His full statement was, I quote, in the instance when we are at war and the destruction of a populated planet is imminent and no other options remain, then we have to preemptively strike the enemy when we can. Now, from the context, we can clearly see that your quote omitted vital qualifying language, and thus was not representative of the captain's actual policy on the subject. Thank you, Commander Spock. Yes, I should definitely consider what I'm saying more carefully. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as quoting out of context. It's only logical. 